Hi everyone, it's Elena here from Lavinia Stamps Design Team. Thank you for joining me today and I'd like to welcome you all to the Halaganza from Lavinia Stamps. Four days full of hints, tips, inspiration and not forgetting the open weekend where you can go and see the live demonstration. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I made this card. Harmony. So we're using the bottle stencil and this fabulous new stamp, the Street Light. I'm using Ash from Fox Set 2 and of course not forgetting our adorable little Pippin the fairy fir trees to create our background. Some mini berries just around the corner here. And then we're going to use some of this fabulous crystal paste just to give us some snow effect at the bottom here. So come and join me and watch how I made this card. Let's get started. So I've got a piece of card here that's seven by seven. And I'm just going to use one side just to line it up. And now I'm going to use my Sizzix stamping platform so I can pop this down onto my board. There. I'm going to pop the street lamp down in the middle of our bottle. And then I'm going to use Ash from the Fox Set 2. So let's just put him into place. I'm going to use Versafine Claire Sand Dune to stamp him with. So let's just ink him up. Stamp him. And then with a piece of copier paper you need to take another image of him and then cut him, cut this out to be used as your mask. So I've already pre-done one. Before we finish using him, we're going to go back to Versafine Claire Nocturne. I'm going to use an old smoothie and we're just going to dab round his head and the bottom of his paws. So there we have his dark areas already stamped, ready for when we work on him later. And then I'm going to get his friend, Pippin, on the other side of the lamp. So let's just pick him up. I'm going to use pine cone to stamp him. So let's just ink him up. Let's just pop a piece of copy of paper and see what he looks like in second generation. Yes, I'm going to keep it like that. And because I've stamped him, I now can use this as a mask. So let's just quickly cut him out. So I've got my ash mask and a piece of ripped copy of paper. I'm going to position that into place. So put that down and then just move my mask into position. And I'm going to use the fairy fir tree. So let's pop that into place. Let's pick it up and put my mask back into place. And I'm going to use Versafine Spruce. So I'm just going to use an old smoothie and just dab some of the colour onto our stamp. There we go. So let's make sure he's in position. Press this down, that into place. 
Yeah. I'm gonna pop our mask of Pippin into place. And pop that there. So let's do the same thing again. Yes. So now we need to build up our scene. So I'm going to use the small version of the fairy fir tree. So let's just ink it up. I'm just going to use my smoothie just to add some colour. Let's stamp onto some copier paper just so that we get a lighter image. And then let's just do a bit of stamping. Okay, so now we're going to use the same piece of copy of paper and we're just going to do a bit of work now on our snow so let's just have that coming down at an angle and I'm going to use Lavinia Stamps Elements Dollar Blue so let's just get a bit of ink on let's just take some of the excess off and we're just going to gently just blend a bit of blue over the snow there we go let's have a look I'm going to pick up some more of that blue put our copy of paper back and then we can just flick this blue up so let's just flick that up and that's going to help to ground everything in So I'm just going to add a bit of orange into our lamp and then a yellow onto the top here just to give it a bit of colour. I'm going to quickly just use an orange just to quickly add a bit of colour to our fox. So we just do it there bit of orange there
So now I'm just going to use a pastel pencil just to add a bit of quick shading around the bottom here. So let's just quickly add a bit of colour and then we're just going to use our fingers just to rub it around our work. just to gently shine some light down from the lamp. So let's, let's just get that going and just use your finger just to blend it in. There we go. And then we can place our inner stencil here. Just pull it down a bit so we're going to create a bit of a lid. So let's just quickly build that up. So let's take our stencil off and pop it back onto its sheet. A grey watercoloured pencil. We're just now going to work onto the top here. So we just want to make the lid a little bit bigger. There. And then we're just going to use a bit of water, taking off some of the excess, and now we can just blend this all together. So let's just colour this all in. Let's have some bit of on the berries here. And then we're going to pop our stencil bottle over the top. And I'm going to use a little bit of Elements Sahara. So let's just pick some of that up, taking off the excess and now we're just going to flick this outwards very gently.
So we're going to create some snow effect to our work. So I'm using the Sizzix crystal paste. And all I'm going to do is put some already on my finger and just use a finger and thumb just to evenly distribute it. And all I'm going to do now is just use my fingers just to dab it onto our work. So again, finger and thumb, dab, dab, dab. Okay, now to finish it off, we're going to use Stickles Stardust. And for this, we're just going to pop little droplets around our work. And then what you can do is with your little finger of any of them, just gently tap on them. Just so that you just spread that glue around. And I've just finished putting the card together. So I've used an eight by eight card blank, done my mats and layers, and then I've stamped the word harmony onto a piece of card and then used a foam pad behind it just to raise it up and then it gives you that lovely drop shadow. Thank you for joining me today. Please take care and hope to see you all soon. Bye for now. Bye. <music>